Hello, my friends. Today I am working on a VIP package about this awesome dress. It's dress Lille. I will show you now this dress closer. And you can see this cocktail dress. It has a really special design. We are using here lace ribbons with leaves. Three lace ribbons, also fantastic wedges at the bottom and very beautiful uh, such uh, tw twigs with two leaves at the top. Also, we have uh, flowers with two and three petals, different size. Like you can see for this uh, dress, I used uh, blue colors, light blue, also middle blue and dark blue. It, it also can be turquoise colors. And uh, yes, in total, this course has uh, 10 lessons and we have... I'm sorry, it has uh, seven lessons, forget about this. Uh, but I have a lot of crochet courses. So, uh, and uh, for this package, we have chosen these colors. The most dark will be this one. Color is $28.99. It's deep um, turquoise. And in real life, it looks a little bit different than on this screen. It's more green-blue, yes. After we have this one, it's number... 858 and it's almost like on the screen looks like on the screen this is our middle color two cons next we have light green turquoise color number 606 uh, this will be yes almost half of the dress and also i have very rare color is it will be the most light color it's italian viscose and I already journeyed three threads here in this one con. In such way, my student will be able to work with three threads like this, just from one con. Yes, we can gradually use this thread. And we have two cons. And this thread is very rare, so I'm very happy that I have this yarn for this awesome project. It will, will be really perfect to gather all these colors as they will create harmonious design. And uh, now I'm making elements. So I will make flowers like this, maybe two or three colors uh, just I will take and make big flowers. Also, we have middle flowers and small. After this, two, uh, two twigs I will make. And next we have wedges and also this part of lace ribbon and I want to create. So it will be interesting. And uh, step by step, I will show you some parts of my work. Uh, because here we have a lot of work. I need to prepare samples, fabric pattern, also uh, I need to hide tails, iron and stretch all elements, all samples, yes. And after I will pack everything, uh, this will be journal with schemes and samples. Also here we have, uh, like you can see, USB flash drive and USB flash drive we have here and crochet hook. Uh, on this USB flash drive, we have detailed video tu tutorials and also PDF lessons with colored schemes and instructions in English. Also, here we have crochet hook 1.7 millimeters. Yes, journal with schemes also will be fabric pattern. I will specially design this fabric pattern for my new student by using her individual measurements. Uh, when you have pattern like this, high quality pattern, you will get really perfect uh, dress that will fit to your figure really perfectly. Uh, and yes, uh, this dress will, looks, uh, will look really great. And my client, my student will be very happy with this result, I'm sure. From my practice, I know this. And uh, also I will send these high quality threads that I love to use for all my projects. And also I, I tested them for my dresses, blouses, skirts, uh, summer tops. So they are really perfect, especially for hot weather. Yes, so uh, that's why I love this VIP packages. I can give everything the best for my students. Uh, high quality crochet cards, high quality fabric pattern, also incredibly beautiful threads, crochet hook. Yes, everything schemes and uh, each student can work at convenient time because uh, they can use, yes, uh, uh, yes, my student can use USB flash drive and uh, watch video tutorials at any time, at any day, so it's really perfect. Also, I help my students all the time. If they need my help, they send me questions, and I really like to make video answers to show everything in details and explain better, yes. And like this, we can work also. Uh, so... Now I will start to make flower. I want to take, uh, I think this one, I really love this color. It's number 606. It's light turquoise green. 
uh, and I love this color. I will work with it and I will make flowers right now. So first uh, um, I should make circles like this when I'm making these uh, flowers and uh, I will make the biggest flowers for this dress lily. Uh, and there we have flowers with three leaves and with two leaves or petals, sorry, with uh, three petals and two petals. So after this first circle, I should make next one and uh, this middle part will be like bigger because this is the biggest uh, flower in this composition. That's why I need to work like this. Yes. When you're making circles like this, you should be very careful. Uh, just do not make this um, second row especially too tight because it will turn to the center and it will be not able to stretch an iron element like this. Yes, to make it straight. So this work is not so easy. You should know some nuances, yes. That's why I have video tutorials, very detailed video tutorials about all these elements. And especially I love uh, in this crochet course lace ribbons with leaves and also wedges. We have two different wedges, so it's very interesting for me. I, I loved this design with few colors. Also, design of this element is really magical. And I used this element for few of my projects and I think I will use it again maybe for some evening dress. It's really a magical element. And it's big pleasure to work with it and create each time new color design, really special one. So now I need to prepare three bases for three petals. So I have prepared three bases for three petals. Now I am making first row of petals. So now I need to make bigger stitches around this arch. Uh, these flowers are my favorite. I really love to make these petals. They are beautiful, solid, with fantastic shape, yes. And we can create these flowers in different size, with different number of petals, in different color design. So only by using this one flower you can create awesome design of any project you want. For example, just by using this flower I change its size of this element. From very small to the biggest one with 23 rows, I created a wedding dress and it was really interesting and special. And that's why um, you don't have to make 100 different elements to create something special, yes. Just you can use one element in different size and you can create a really beautiful lace. So now I am making this second flower from this amazing spread. We have here light turquoise green and it looks really nice, I think. Very beautiful color for dresses. And just like this, the pattern of this flower is simple, standard stitches. Just you need to know a few nuances, how to make everything without holes and yes, how to create this beautiful shape of petals. And now we can go to the next petal and create third petal. After I will make second row of petals, in total this flower has three rows. And interesting edging, this one has this bigger, the biggest flower, it has a little bit different um, edging, not like standard flowers, and that's why it's also interesting. This edging I made only for dress lily, only here we have like this last row of flower talisman, and I will make it, yes, right now for these flowers. Also, I should make the same flower only with uh, two petals. I want to give um, a lot of samples to my student just to be sure that this all <laughs> uh, motifs will give her inspiration, yes. And also they will help her to create this project. My student will have uh, ready part, uh, just ready elements to use for composition. So I think this is really nice. 
nice beginning of big project. This is my part of support of this project. Okay, now I will finish this third petal and I will start to make second row of petals. Just I will turn my work and go back with small stitches. Now I am making second row of petals and this row is very simple. We have previous row so we know how to yes uh, work all stitches we have just uh, very easily you need to make solid row without open spaces. Now in the middle I will make pico. From I think five chain loops can be four or five chain loops, depends what style of crocheting you have. It should be not too loose. Yes, this pickle. And like this, I am working second row, and you can see how beautiful shape has this petal. I really like it. And after I will show you third, the last row with interesting design. I am making last third row with design like this. We have here. Uh, shells and picots and yes transition between the first and second petal the same puff stitch I will make here between petals so um, this design I really enjoy to make yes it should be not too tight it's very important because this is the last row and it should be elastic and really nice accurate and uh, now I will finish this row very very soon and a flower like this will be ready with three petals and this is, this is the biggest flower in uh, this project, yes, so we will have it. After I will make also the same element by using more dark threads from our kit and this all elements my student can use for projects, so this is really great. So design like this, I will continue to make it. It looks really pretty, I think. And especially when we will iron and stretch this element, it will be very soft. Yes, beautiful and shiny. Uh, so I finished it to make uh, this flower. You can see it now. We have two tails to hide, this will be next. And also I have made second one. Yes, looks like this. And for this I, uh, flower, I used color 858, this one. Yes. So we have two flowers. This uh, sample, These two samples are ready. I will not make more. And now I will make the same just with two petals. Maybe also I will use two colors just to, um, yes, to create more elements, more samples. Now I finish it to make uh, the same flower, just uh, this time with two petals, and second one also is ready. I finish it to make them. So the biggest flower we have in total, yes, four elements. Uh, this is the biggest flowers. Now I will make middle flowers and after small flowers, also in different colors. For this moment, uh, I finish it to make uh, this middle flower with three petals, and now I will make the same from light green turquoise thread. The same, you can see it's smaller. Just we have um, this one row of petals and just edging very thin by using single crochet stitches. And once again, this edging it should be elastic, not tight. Uh, this is really important when you are making elements for your project. So be careful with this. And I will make the same element like, like this by using light green turquoise color. It's number 606. Uh, so my friends, I finished it to make also this one flower. So we have a middle flower with three petals in two different colors. These two samples are ready. And now I am making element uh, middle flower with two petals. Also, right now I am 
making the last row here and after I want to make also uh, the same flower in another color and this will be all about middle flowers next I will make sm the smallest one also with uh, three and with two petals so it will be a lot of samples a lot of flowers just in the next video I will hide tail and uh, tails and I will stretch and iron this all elements and you will see uh, the right size and also beautiful shape of all these elements I will show you closer so you will see the result yes only stretched elements we can use for project because they have the maximum size yes and this is very important you you should do like this all the steps you should do during your work and now a few stitches and i will finish this flower and i will cut the thread don't forget to leave really long tails around 20 centimeters in this way it will be easy to hide them by using needle with big eye and it's really nice elements because we will have only two tails to hide only one color uh, just you can see I am using so only two tails and it's really not difficult to hide so we have two tails and this element is ready now we can see also this flower um, in another color this middle flower now we have two samples in different colors they are ready And right now I finished to make the smallest flowers with three petals, also two different colors, and two small flowers with two petals, only like this we have. Next motifs are very interesting, and for them I will use uh, light green turquoise thread and also this Italian viscos three threads journey together number. 0533 uh, such design I will have and I want to create two twigs with uh, two beautiful leaves and this element I will show you very soon uh, we have them here inside of this magazine with schemes uh, they have very beautiful shape like you can see and uh, I really recommend to make them in two colors or even more just not one because if you will use uh, bright color for this twig and after you will create these uh, leaves from another color you will have very beautiful design like you can see and also we have here picots uh, they are also really beautiful here and I think this design is awesome we will use these twigs at the upper part of dress lily and right now I just finished to make these two samples just after I will hide tails and iron and stretch them but I made them and we have two colors more bright color and more light yes and we have each time two tails two tails and here also so six tails to hide in each element and I made even two and they are ready just in the next video I will hide tails and we will see this beautiful elements ready so I think for this video is all um, I try to show you in details how I am working on VIP package dress Lil. and in the next video I will continue to show you everything new elements also we will see ready elements and I will tell you more interesting things so thank you so much for watching this video I wish you beautiful results and uh, yes stay safe bye bye for now